up guys welcome to another build and break garage episode we're starting this one off in the car uh, i'm cruising back down from woodward right now and we are going to go ahead and install scotty's coilovers onto his car uh, you guys can wait for this video for a while so hope you enjoy it and uh yeah we're gonna get down back to the garage and get them in and uh start working on it and i'll show you guys how to adjust them and uh get the right ride height that you're looking for and uh yeah so hopefully you enjoy this video and uh we'll be back in the garage in a minute all right guys well we made it home i beat well i beat scotty here for sure um but uh i think what i'm gonna do really quick while i'm waiting for him is i actually have to fix the front lip if you can tell it is kind of going down in the middle so i'm gonna put a reinforcement under it and hopefully it straightens itself out but uh i was kind of worried about that once the sun started hitting it it got uh warm and it was gonna start to sag right there so there's not a lot of support right there so uh yeah i'm gonna pull it in the garage really quick get it up in the air and then uh, rivet on a uh, support so it should only take like two minutes but we'll see what happens all right guys well i just uh pulled the car in got it up real quick and uh got it all fixed up and now if you can tell on the video it's nice and straight and the only thing i did was i took a piece of aluminum u-shaped material and went across the bottom and just riveted it on painted it black really quick now it's nice and straight and uh yeah so i don't think uh, i'm gonna have a problem with it sagging in the when it starts heating up so that's good but now I'm going to pull this out. We're going to get Scotty's car back here and start working on that. All right, guys. With that, we have Scotty's car in the garage. And now it is time to start installing these freaking coilovers. Modified them months ago, and they're finally going on the car. So hopefully they go on with uh, no hiccups. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get this car up in the air and start taking out the stock stuff. All right, hopefully the time lapse caught that because I just got that done in about five minutes, but uh, I got the old springs out already. So now it is time to install the new one. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy installed. All right, so I got the coilovers installed on the front. Um, it's, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You unbolt the old stuff, you put the new stuff in, so. Uh, I'm not going to go too much over that, but now that they're installed, uh, I got them pretty much set to I think where they're going to be, um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and test fit on these wheels and see where the position is and then see what we have to adjust in the coilover to get the ride height right. So uh, I'll go into more detail once I get the wheel on and we'll start to explain if it needs to go up or down and how to do that. Okay, so I just test fit the wheel on and I haven't adjusted anything yet. And look at that. I mean, it's gonna compress more, of course, once it goes down on the ground, so it'll be a little bit lower, but like, I pretty much nailed exactly where I want this to be at. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, there is this inside of the fender all the way through here and down here. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that out now because I guarantee you if I don't, he's gonna crack the fender uh, really easily if he goes to turn and hit the bunk. So I'm gonna trim that out now and save us some hassle. All right, so we got done with the front. Um, I, all my adjustments were actually perfect, so I didn't have to adjust the coil at all, so I didn't really have to show you guys how to do that. We did have to adjust the camber on the passenger side, but that's just a matter of grinding out the holes and pushing the wheel in. Uh, I'm sure many of you have seen that before, but yeah, so the front's all done. It's really nice and tucked. And then now we're working on the back, and now it's just a matter of getting the old stuff off and the new stuff back on, and uh, hopefully I can show you guys how to adjust the rear rears after uh, we get it on the ground and see if we have to lower it or anything. So let's get to it. Well, I got the stock ones out. Um, didn't film on that one, but uh, I mean, they're just the same as taking out the front. So, but I took the rear top hats off the stock struts, so I can finally show you. This is the stock Saturn top hat, and this is the coilover. So. What I do is I just take that off, move it down, and boom. Basically, you're able to get it on, but that is the completed rear assembly. So you take the stock top hat, put it on the coilover, and that's all you need to do. Um, always make sure to leave this top piece in so we, uh, it, the spring has something to ride on. But other than that, it's basically just getting that stock top hat on and then sliding it back up into the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done, and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna get this pitch on the ground and actually see where it sits. Well, uh, I got the uh, rear coilovers on, 
and I do have to adjust them a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that really fast so go ahead and take your adjust or just take your adjustment wrenches and you're going to see here on the coil over you gotta take the wrench loosen up this bottom one first and you're gonna go ahead and screw this bottom one up as high as you want like what I do is I adjust this all the way to the point where I want to put the bottom collar at so I want to drop this about a half inch so right now it's about a half inch where I want it to be put it a little bit higher so right there take top wrench and I'm gonna need two hands for this but you go ahead and screw this back down into there and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done All right guys, well, uh, moment of truth, and like like to introduce you to the latest lowered Saturn. It looks really good. Hopefully you guys were able to see how I adjusted the rears. Yeah, so I tried to go into as much detail as I could to show you guys how to like adjust the, adjust the suspension a little bit. Um, if you guys have any more questions, just go on ahead and ask. Uh, I tried to show it as best I could. Um, it was a really, I had to put some real muscle into it, getting the backs to lower back, but hopefully I explained to you how, how best to do that. But anyway, uh, this is going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we are so close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, and we are coming out with another video later this week about how to sanitize your car in the wake of this uh, horrible disease that's sweeping our country. And uh, we're going to make sure that your baby stays safe. So be sure to give this video a like and uh, be sure to subscribe if you are not already. We do appreciate it. And I can't wait to cross that 1,000 subscriber mark. So be sure to do that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. Peace.